Happy Labor Day. So I'm in my new office at HQ today, getting ready for the week and getting a few things done. And I wanted to say hi. I feel like it's, it's been a while. We've had some guests on the uh, Danny Inc. show lately. So let me know how you like that format. I also want to do more of a blogging format to update you on other things. So today's theme is sharing. I was chatting with a friend yesterday and she was motivating me to keep going with sharing content, sharing information, and so that's why on a holiday I am doing a Facebook Live and just keeping the momentum going, kickstarting my week. Don't worry, I'll do the back later. And <laughs> so Let's see what else is going on. I have a new roommate who moved in at home, working on a new client project this week, doing a video shoot on Wednesday. So preparing for that, that's one of my project manager uh, projects. So super excited about that. And um, I've been reading a lot this weekend, just soaking it all in, taking the time to get a few things done. Um, so that's one of the things I want to chat about is what are you reading? What do you, what's going on for you? What projects are you working on? Well, one of the books I picked up was The Order of Time. Let's see if I can see the author just like where you need to go. Yep. So this has been a fun philosophical read on quantum mechanics and, and time. And it's like one of those mind benders. Where you're just like, what? So really it talks about just like change and how it's all just like a series of events. Um, also, for those who know me, I have a deep love for romance novels. So this is what I'm reading right now. There's the Need of Blake series. Probably going to McCabe's earlier to pick up the next in the series. And I, I do all of this, all of this like soaking up of knowledge, all of these different projects, because you never know when it relates to something that you're working Plus, it's just fun to do for me. So, you know, thinking differently in one area of, what, of your life and how it can help you think differently in another and seeing those connections and weaving it together. So that's been super fun. Let's see. I was on a podcast re recently, so shout out to Entrepreneur Before uh, 25. So that was very fun. So all this forward momentum feels really good. Being on a podcast, having new clients, having a new roommate move in, having my office here, it, it feels good. So a lot of you will see photos like of me posting online, oh, I'm going to this event, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and it's like, yeah, that is super exciting and fun. When I was talking to my friend the other night, I said like, you know, I want to share other parts of, of my life and, and what's going on. And um, yeah, having that opportunity to be more and be more and reach out to others. So that's what I'm doing now with just keeping the blog going and keeping you posted. So I would love to connect as far as fun activities that are going on. I will be at the Winston-Salem Fashion Week at the end of this month. So raise your hand if you want to go with me. Um, Hillary will be recruiting me for that probably. <laughs> and uh, I'll be doing a presentation at Venture Cafe in the 27th. I actually am mentioning that now because I need to work on creating a presentation. It's going to be on content calendars and how you back up from your strategy and your plan and how it gets woven into your content calendar. So taking the big picture, strategic part of your business and back to the practical of what you're actually doing. So that will be fun. Also next week again, it's Folk Fest here in Greensboro. So let me know whoever wants to, to go out and it that. So let's see what other things. Um, I made up just a couple of lists. Oh, that's right. I haven't told you guys. So I want to start making jewelry and um, getting together with a friend in the next week or so to start doing that. And it ties into the fashion business that I talked to some of you about. So that is still in the back of my mind that I'm working on is how to find a local um, designer and producer who could help me with that. And then I'm going to do put in some money myself and do and I want the jewelry to be woven into that. So really, it's all about the storytelling. The stories you tell with the 
clothing that we wear, how we express ourselves. So not only do I have the project management and marketing work going on, I want to have more creative pursuits that I'm doing as well, which is why I rebranded it to DNA Inc. to encompass all of these different pursuits and, and businesses. So building more of an umbrella structure for, for this business that allows me to um, evolve uh, with it and, and vice versa. So that's kind of big picture of what I'm building. So if you think, wow, I'm talking about a lot of different things. But yeah, I like to do a lot of different things and it all um, comes together under that umbrella. Um, oh, I've been working my own project management process. So the work that I've been doing with a client and a couple of different partners is I had all these process documents from my last business and then I finally revisited them and I'm pulling them together into an updated process for myself. So how it relates to managing a video project or website redesign or ongoing marketing campaign. So um, that feels really good to, to have that solidified. So let me know what information would be helpful to hear about next time. I really love your feedback on the format and want to give you an update. So in the spirit of a sharing and collaborating with uh, fellow viewers out there. So let me know what books you're reading, or what events you have going on, and I would love to, to chat more. Thanks so much and enjoy your day. Bye.